Get your booty in check with this 2010-5 glutes, hamstrings, and calves workout. Now this workout is 35 minutes long. We're gonna start with 20 minutes of cardio to get your legs activated and ready for that strength. We are going to be doing 10 minutes of focused strength work in that posterior chain, and we're gonna move on to five minutes of deep Core. Now, all you have to do today is listen to my cues. I'm gonna be sharing with you how each move can be even more effective and how you can get the most out of this workout. I'm really proud of you for showing up today and you're gonna see amazing results, especially with these 2010-5 method workouts, but you gotta stay consistent to see true and lasting results. You're gonna crush this workout. Let's do this. All right, we're starting with our hands on our hips and we're gonna kick our butt. Activate those hamstrings. We're gonna hop right into things today. We're gonna go for that burn. We're gonna go for that strength. And today's gonna be a good day because of this workout. Okay, let's put our hips in circles. Nice big circles. Let's go the other way. Release. Feel the stretch all through each part of your body. We're gonna get down into a squat and tap out. Squat and tap out. Priming our body for this movement. We're gonna go right into cardio after this. 20 minutes of cardio, you ready? Okay, let's squat, hold right here, tap out. Three, four, other side. One, two, three, four, good job. Woo! Right here, we're activating our glutes. We're putting all our weight in our heels. The one that's stationary. And we're gonna stay right here. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Walk it out. Oh, I have a feeling that this is going to burn. I know it's gonna burn. There's cardio burn and then right into strength. So happy you're here. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna put our hands on our head right here. We're gonna hinge at the hips and then we're gonna tap out, then back. So right here, tap out, tap out, tap back, tap back. Tap out, tap out, back and back. Good job. Keep your core nice and tight. Having your hands up here is gonna help you use your core muscles instead of your arms to stabilize. That's it. Back, out, out, back, back. There you go. Walk it out. So while this is cardio, we're also doing these exercises to activate our glutes, hamstrings, and calves, getting them all fired up and ready for that strength. Next exercise again, we're gonna bring our hands back onto our head. We're gonna bend forward, legs nice and wide, bend forward, push our hips back, squeeze at the top, Windmill. That's what I call that exercise. Windmill. It kind of looks like a windmill. Push it back. Weight is in the heels. Windmill. There you go. Push it back. You should feel the tension in your glutes and your hamstrings with this stretch and contraction. Windmill last time. And let's walk it out. Okay, next one that we're gonna be doing, we're going to be focusing on our isometric and then adding a little bit of a burn into that. So isometric, we're staying in one spot, having our muscles contract in that one spot, and then we're just gonna tap back with one leg. Speed it up if you can. Nice. All the weight is in your heel. 
You can put your toes down if you need to stabilize like that. You can be swinging your arms or keep them on your hips. Make it your own. Stay right here. Feel the burn in that stationary glute. That's it. Nice deep breaths. Take every opportunity you can to practice proper breathing. This breath work is gonna help you in the long run. It's gonna set you up for workouts where you're using your breath to push you through those hard moments. Okay, get those arms moving. Breathe in and out. Let's get into that squat and tap back. Slow if you need to or speed it up. Great job. Tap back, tap back, tap back. Keep that core engaged. Good. Lift those feet up off the ground. Walk around, back it up, go forward. Whatever you need to do to keep those feet moving. Next one we're gonna do is a jack, but we are not gonna add the jump into it. It's gonna be a step out. Keeping this nice and light on the knees. We're not jumping, we're not creating too much tension on our joints. We're letting the strength do its thing when we get to that. You should feel warm by now. I'm feeling warm like I'm about to break a sweat, but not quite yet. This continuous movement is you're gonna prime your body to become more and more better at endurance. <laughs> endurance, that's not a word. <laughs> Let's keep those feet moving. Okay, next one. We're gonna use our arms, we're gonna punch it out, and at the same time, we're gonna be activating our hamstrings, getting those butt kicks in. You can start right here. If you need a little bit more of a challenge, you can pick up the pace. If you wanna add a little hop to it, you could go even faster. But don't be afraid to stay right here. That's it. Great job, walk it out. Okay, next, we're gonna be waking up those calves, getting them active. There's no better way to do it than in a squat. We're gonna get wide with our squat. We're gonna lift our heel up so that we're on our tippy toes on each side. Okay, let's get down in the squat. Lift, lift, lift. You can throw down with your arms as well. This is gonna challenge your core when your arms come up and over, keeping it nice and tight so that your chest is lifted. You're getting all of your muscles working on this, working together. Teamwork with our muscles makes the dream work. <laughs> great job, you're doing great. Okay, we're gonna be using our step with the next one to step into a squat then out of the squat. Into the squat, we're gonna go forward. Out of the squat, we're gonna step back. Just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In that squat, you're gonna try to get your hips nice and low while keeping your chest up. I don't wanna see any of this. No, no. Keep your chest up. 
Back is nice and straight. Good, that's it. Again, great job. Nice deep breaths. Nice, we're gonna move side to side. We're gonna stay low in our squat. Remember, you can always adjust it to your level. You can't quite get down and low in the squat, maybe because your knees are bothering you or because for whatever reason, you can stay a little bit higher right here. If you wanna go for a deeper challenge, get low with me right here. Even lower, can you get lower? While keeping your form nice and tight and upright. Show me what you got. Walk it out. Ooh, this feels good. Okay, let's activate our glutes. We've been activating our glutes with these squat motions. So let's get a little bit deeper into them with these kickbacks. Remember, intention over intensity. We're gonna lead with intention. So if that means for you, intention is taking it a little bit slower so you get the full contraction, you can really think about what muscle is working, go for it. If intention also requires speed, you can speed it up. There's nothing wrong with that, but make sure you are focusing on what muscle is working, where you're feeling the tightness, where you're feeling the tension. That's where you're gonna get the most out of each rep. did it, you showed up, you're here. We're putting the work in. That is something to be proud of. Okay, we're gonna stay on one leg. We're gonna lift our leg up just like that. And we're gonna open to the side. Just like that. Right here, we're getting our abductors which is the muscles on the side of your legs that helps you name it, or you guessed it, abduct, take away the leg from your midline. Do you ever get confused on which ones are abductors and which ones are adductors? Abduct, abduct, take away, move away from your body. Adduct, to add to your body if you ever come across that terminology. Some people call it just like leg lifts, and that's okay too. <laughs> Keep your feet moving. Okay, other side. Good job. If it helps, look at one point. Try to focus right there to keep your balance. If you need to hold on to something, that's perfectly fine too. We're working on this abductor. There you go. Next, we're gonna be working on, guess what? Them ad, ad, Doctors. <laughs> really trying to teach you today. Give you a few points to remember the next time you come back to your workout. Tomorrow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna step out. Just like that. If you can, speed it up to the beat. Ready? Let's go.
see how I'm landing real soft on my feet. Not quite a hop, but we're always letting our knees and our hips absorb that impact and using our muscles to absorb it, not just our tendons and our connective tissue. Starting to get out of breath. How are you guys feeling? We're gonna do another wide squat. Step out, and we're gonna lift our heels at the same time. One, two, up, down, up, down, that's it. Focus on the muscles of the calves working. Your calves isn't just one muscle. That's why it's called calves, not calf. I mean, one calf, one set of muscles is called a calf. With their caps. <laughs> Multiple muscles, let's go. This next exercise is called a Kang squat. Every time I do this exercise, I think about Kira, cause she is the one that taught me this exercise. And then every time I do it, I'm like, am I doing it right? Kira knows, only Kira can tell. <laughs> Keep your core tight. Okay, walk it out. Kira's like, thumbs up, good job. <laughs> okay, next one, we're gonna get a little bit into our, our quads, which isn't the focus today, but a lot of these exercises can activate the hamstrings and glutes without the quads. So we're gonna do a squat, and we're gonna kick out like our life depends on it. Let's go. Squat, kick, squat, kick, squat, kick. I like to point my toes when I kick. I don't know if it's more effective. Gives me that little girly flare, I guess. That Pilates flare. <laughs> squat and kick, push your hips back, chest stays up. Okay, we got one more cardio exercise, one more walk, and then we're going right on to our water break and strength. So this one we've already done before. We're gonna get down into a squat. We're gonna tap our foot out. This time should be better. Every time you do an exercise, it's not necessarily about making sure you do it longer or do it faster. Maybe it's just focusing on doing it better. Focusing on your form. Is your chest up? Is your core engaged? Are you putting the weight where it needs to be in your heels for this specific exercise? Walk it out. Faster, more intense, doesn't always mean better. That's why it's coming now. <laughs> Feels great. Smile. Okay, grab your water and get ready for strength. Great job, cardio complete. We've already made our way over halfway through this workout, so I'm very proud of you for making it this far. Next, we are gonna move into strength, so make sure you grab those dumbbells. I am using 10-pound dumbbells, but you can use less or more. Go at your own pace, pick your own weights, and let's keep going.
Grab your larger weights. If you have eight to 10 pounds, that's perfect. Point your toes out, push your hips back, get down into a squat, stand up and squeeze your glutes at the top. Push your hips back, weights come down to the ground, press through your heels and squeeze your glutes. That's it. Take it nice and slow. Focus on the whole back side of your body. Your glutes are on fire. Your hamstrings are on fire. The weight of your body is in your heels and your chest is up, so your back's doing a little bit of work too. Take a quick rest. Some nice deep breaths. We're gonna grab one dumbbell for the next exercise. Pick it up, I have 10 pounds. We're gonna start on one shoulder. Squat, press up and over. Squat, push your hips back, press up and over. Good. You can go quicker if you need to, or slower if you need to. This is all about your unique journey. There you go. Remember all the cues. Pushing your hips back, squeezing at the top, lifting over, keeping your core contracted. Now rest. Okay. Next exercise, we're really gonna be working on the form of our squat. So have your feet just outside of your shoulders, push your hips back into a squat, and you're gonna push out with your abductors three times, stand back up, squeeze, and come back down. Push out, your knees should move about half an inch, and as you do that, you are gonna activate those glutes. You should feel that tension happening in them as you press out. This is a great way to remember any time you are doing a squat, you're not letting your knees cave in. You are using that abductors to press out, to fully activate your glutes. Oh, it feels good to use dumbbells. Let me know in the comments after this workout how long you've been using dumbbells and we're gonna see where everybody's at. If this is your first time, that is great. If this is your 50th time, that is great. So right here, again, we're putting all our weight into our heels and pressing up from there. Right here, feel it in your glute, press up. That's it, keep your core tight, chest lifted, and make sure you're breathing. Breathe out as you push up. In, out as you push up. Good. That's it. You're gonna do the other side. Oh, the sweat is coming. My body feels great. My mind feels great. I feel present, I feel in it. Check in with yourself right now before we do the other side. Push up, stand. Core is tight and engaged. I'm gonna shut up for a minute, and let you focus on your form. That's it. Look at you. You didn't think you could do it, but look at you now. Look at you here, right now, in this moment. Doesn't it feel so good to prove those negative thoughts wrong? Whew. I'm proud of you. Grab the other 10 pound weight. 
or whichever heavier weight you have. And let's do some curtsy lunges. So you're gonna tuck your foot behind you. You're gonna let your knee drop while your chest stays up. Bring your feet together and do the other side. Make sure there's nothing in your way. Tuck, press through this glute. Press through this glute. There you go. Tuck and press through the glute. That's it. Nice deep breaths. Good. Tried a little bit of a different genre of music today. Just to mix things up, keep it fresh. Woo. Next, we're gonna rack these dumbbells on our shoulders. And we're gonna do that same cardio move we did earlier. Two steps to the side. Chest stays up and feel the difference. Think about how you felt when you're doing this exercise without the weights. And now feel it. Be present with this movement and really think about what's working to keep you in this position. What is it? Your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves, your quads, your core. Everything's working together to make this happen. Good job. We're gonna go down to one dumbbell again. Move anything out of your way. We're gonna go into some dumbbell swings. Grab the top of the dumbbell, however is most comfortable. You're gonna push your hips back. And as you swing forward, you're gonna flick your hips. All of the swing is coming from your hips. Not your arms doing any of the muscle work, your hips. Push them back, flick them forward and squeeze. There you go. Keep your head up, looking straight forward. Keep breathing, chest is up, hips are going back and flicking forward. There you go. So, okay, for our last strength exercise, we are gonna grab both the dumbbells and rack them on our shoulders. Calves, okay. Let me see your calves. Let me see the kind of work they can put in right now. It's only 40 seconds of intention. That's really all you need to get those calves on fire to make a slight change today. Like you are every day, making slight changes to get closer and closer to your goals, your strength goals, your energy goals, your physique goals, fitting into that beautiful dress. Whatever your goals, remind yourself of them right now. Okay. Take a nice little breath of breathing. Wipe your face if you need to. In through your nose and out through your mouth. We're gonna move right into a water break right now, so grab your water. Now that we've activated our lower body, we got that burn on, we got that tension built up so that we can grow stronger and stronger. We are going to move on to some deep core work. Let's get down on our mat and prepare ourselves for some deep core and pelvic floor work. Let's keep going. Some deep core, getting nice and deep in it. We're gonna be moving down onto the mat So let's get down there. One knee is going to be down. Your elbow's gonna be down. You're gonna have your one leg straight out. You're gonna let your body go down towards the mat and press up. 
Feel it right here in your deep core. Good, rest, and let's switch over to the other side. I don't know about you, but it feels so good to get to this core portion of the workout. We already have our sweat on. Traditionally, when I do core workouts, they're very like low on the sweat level, which is okay, it's totally fine. It's nice to feel that extra burn before you even do the core work. Let's get on our other side. Elbow goes down, the bottom knee goes down, other leg goes out. And prepare. Nice deep breaths before we move into it. Lift up, bring it down. Feel the tension right here. If you wanna be challenged a little bit more, lift that top leg off of the ground. Great job. Tighten and release. That's it. Okay, let's get on our backs. Nice and gently grab the back of your legs and travel down your legs to let your back rest on the ground. What I want you to do is let your lower back touch the ground. Put your feet nice and tight and lift through your glutes. Squeeze your glutes, and then let's pulse it out. While you're doing this, I want you to focus on keeping that tension, that outward tension, right on the inside of your knees, pushing out, feeling the activation all throughout your glutes. That's it. Good, slowly release. Let your lower back touch the mat and ground yourself right here. Next, I want you to put your arms out to your sides, just like that. Bring your knees up into tabletop like this. Knees are above your hips and you're gonna slowly Go to one side. Don't quite touch the ground. You're gonna use your opposite side of your core to lift up, feel that tightness, and go to the other side. Your arms are out there to help you a little bit. But try to use as much of your core, your deep core, to do this movement. Good job, come back to center. Bring your knees, your hands to the back of your knees. Rock up if you can. Now we're gonna move into some stretches just to release everything that we've done. This is gonna be a quick stretch. If you need to extend it, go right ahead. Stretch out those all the, all the muscles that you need to stretch out. Walk yourself out. Bring your hips down and then your chest. Then press through your hands, which are under your shoulders, and bring your shoulders down and back. Feeling a stretch all through your front, throughout your core, throughout your chest even. Take some nice deep breaths here. Let yourself down. And now we're gonna come up onto our knees, slowly. You're gonna come nice and high on your knees and you're gonna reach over, putting that one hand on the ground while you feel a stretch through the side of your body. Take some nice deep breaths here. Let's move to the other side.
Think about all that you accomplished today, all that you set your mind to. You showed up today and you showed out. Let's take some deep breaths here. Slowly stand up with me. Be proud of yourself. You did it, you made it all the way through this 2010-5 method, and tomorrow we'll be back for more. Great job, keep up the great work. Honey, you are doing amazing things, and I can't wait to hear about all you've accomplished. I'll see you in the next workout.